Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to select the past dates in a calendar. So let's get started. So what do I mean by this past dates? For example, today when I am recording this session, it is March 27, 2023. Already the dates which are before this 27, that is 26th March, 25th March or February 2023, January 2023 or November 2022, etc., etc., are the past dates. They are already completed. Okay. What if I can select that particular past dates which are already gone? Okay. So, in one of the previous sessions where I have shown you how to automate the calendar type one by selecting the future dates, now in the same calendar, can I select the past dates which are already completed? Yes. It depends on the calendar, anyhow, but in the calendar type one which I have demonstrated in the previous session, it is possible to select the past dates. Let me show you that uh, application page where this particular type of calendar is there, where you can go back and select the past dates, which are already completed. I'll show you that manually first. I'll copy this URL, open this browser and browse this application. And here we have this uh, field and I click here, I'll get a calendar. Now in this calendar, you don't, uh, there's a possibility that you can select the future dates like this. Okay. 29 June, 22, which, which is the future date. And there's a possibility where you can go back also, you see, I can go back to 2022 year, the previous year, September 21, you see, I can even select the past dates. So let me show you how to automate this uh, selection of uh, past dates in this particular calendar, which is very simple and which is very similar to whatever we have done in the, uh, the, this particular session where I have automated calendar type one, where I selected the future dates. Now the same calendar I'm going to use and select the past dates. So for that, I'll switch to this Pyjama ID. Uh, where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here we have to open the application URL. I'll copy this URL here and paste it here. Okay. Once I copy this application URL and paste it here. Now what I, what I want to do here is I want to click inside this date field, inspect this uh, date field here. And uh, the HTML code for the date field will come. You see date picker. Sorry. This is a date picker is there. Copy this, copy this and here write down driver dot driver dot find element by dot id give the id of that particular date picker field and simply say dot click this code i have already written as part of the previous session again i am repeating just to select the previous dates past dates which are all which are already done okay so when i click on this uh, you see when i click inside this field what will happen this calendar will come i have to wait for this particular calendar to come okay so to handle this Ajax calls and all, you know, the to make this thing synchronous, right? I have to wait for this calendar before performing any operation on this calendar, as you already know. So what I'll do is I'll select this uh, inspect option and uh, hover the mouse so that uh, this entire calendar gets selected here. Yeah, just like this. Once it is selected, click on that. You see, this is a due section having the ID, which is selecting the entire calendar. I'll take this ID of this calendar and here right, I'll write down web driver weight of path driver and give some seconds, let's say 10 seconds max, that is enough for this calendar to be appeared. Wait is equal to. Now I'll write down wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located in circular brackets due by dot by dot what ID, right? The ID, that particular calendar has the ID. I'll take this ID and paste it here. I'll wait for this calendar to come after the calendar comes what i have to do after the calendars get appeared on this page so i need to find out what is the current month and current year so that i can go back to the previous dates okay i have to go back to the previous date so i have to find the current month and current year how to get the current month i'll inspect this march and uh you see this html code is getting highlighted so it has a class i'll take this class locator and write down current underscore month is equal to driver dot with the help of the class locator. I'll find it out. Find element by dot class name. I'll give the class name and say dot text. We'll get the text between the tags. That is March text is between the tags. So it will come. And similarly, current year also current underscore year is equal to driver dot find element. Here, what is a locator class locator again for year also. There is a class locator. If you inspect this year also, 
this HTML code will get highlighted. This is a class locator for that. And I'll simply write on by dot class name and give the class locator for that uh, year. Then say dot text. After getting this uh, month and year, right? Then what I'll do here is I'll write down while not of. Okay. While not of current month. Current month dot equals. Let's say I want to select uh, here. Let's say I want to select, I want to go back. I want to go back and select, you know, August, uh, August 17th, I want to select. Okay. August 17th, 2022, I want to select. Let's say. Okay. So this is August. I'll copy this August. Just paste it here in the double quotes. The current month equals August. Then you have to stop. Okay. And not only month, but also the year. Current year also dot equals year should be 2022, the previous year, okay, which is already done. This particular thing is already done. Like this, I'll write down. And uh, if it is not equal, then I have to go inside the while loop. If, if the current month is not equal to either not equal to August or not equal to 22, right? This will return false. Not a false will become true. And I'll go inside this while loop where I'll click on this previous, okay? This, uh, what do you say? Uh, past, past kind of option. You see, this is HTML code that is getting located. Expand this. See, next is there for this also. Let me inspect this again. So this is HTML code getting, you see previous, previous. Okay, this previous is coming. I'll create an XPath expression, double slash span. Uh, give the text is equal to previous. Double, I'll create an XPath expression. Text is equal to previous. So with this locator, I'll be able to locate this uh, this previous option. I'll copy this XPath expression. And here I'll write down driver dot find element by dot XPath. Give the uh, by dot XPath. By dot XPath. And give the XPath expression. And simply say dot click. Once I click on this, what will happen? You see, uh, this uh, March is not equal to August. And uh, 2023 is not equal to 2022. It will click on now March is not equal, uh, I mean, February is not equal to August and 2023 is not equal to 2022. Then it will click. January is not equal to August and okay, so it's click. December is not equal to August, click. November is not equal to August, click. October is not equal to, like it will click, keep on. now August is equal to August and 2022 is equal to 2022. Now it will stop here. Now, but here, once you click here, right, uh, once you, for example, here, March is not equal to August. You clicked on this. After clicking this, the month March has been changed to February here. I have to get this February again, right? So for that, I have to write these two lines inside this while loop again. Okay. It will get the current month. Okay. After you click this, the month will change. The current month will be February this time. February is not equal to August. Then become January. January is not equal to August. Like that. Okay. You are retrieving this month again and year again and comparing here. Okay. And this will keep on clicking the previous button until this August 2022 will come like this. Okay. Once it goes to August 2022, it will stop here. Now what I have to do after going there is I want to select a 17, date 17, inspect that 17 here. And here I can create, uh, you know, so what is there here? How to, you see this, this one I'll take, select date, data handler, control F double slash TD at the rate data hyphen handler is equal to give that handler and uh, say text is equal to 20. Text function is equal to tw uh, 17, right? 17. Give 17 there. So there's some problem. Okay. This is working fine. But here text, in this uh, text, uh, here anchor tag is there again, okay? Under slash A, in that slash A, we have text is equal to 17, let's say. Now this is working fine. This is locating the 17 date, the locator. Copy this XPath expression. And here write down driver dot find element by dot XPath. Give the XPath expression of the date 17 and simply say dot click. Okay. That's it. Now give some time dot sleep just for see, just for demo purpose, I'm adding this time dot sleep to see whether the date has been successfully selected or not. Past date. That is uh, August 17, 2022 has been selected in the 
date field or not that is the past date has been previous uh, like past date is selected or not i want to check okay for that i'm giving this time dot sleep for demo purpose only so that the program will hard for a while so that we can see the date got selected in the field or not run the script and just observe what's happening so in the same calendar that is calendar type one instead of selecting the future date with this logic we are selecting the previous date okay it's going back till august it has to go and select you see 17th august 2022 got selected so which is working fine so this is how guys we can uh, select a past dates in the calendar using selenium python script so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye bye